This is Jen Lee with Gentastic Journey, including our card crafting for today. Today I'm going to create these beautiful gifts that you can give away for the holidays. They stand up and you have a little box in there that you can put chocolates in or anything that you could think of to put in there. You could even put like a little ring or a couple pairs of earrings or whatever you'd like. So the base 11 inches by five and a half and then the base of the box five and a half by five and a half box top is four and a half by four and a half and then you've got your red and white pieces that are the sentiment strip on the front one by five and a half and three quarters by five and a half inches so all of my sizes are in inches then you're going to take a scoreboard and for the longest piece and you're going to hold it with the length all the way off of your scoreboard and you're going to score that at three quarters of an inch and then three quarters of an inch again and then uh, I flip it over each time because I'm going to fold it in opposite directions and then another three quarters of an inch. So you've got basically three pieces there that are all three quarters of an inch. You flip it over and you are at four and a quarter of an inch on the other side. If you have a longer scoreboard than I do, you can do this all at once, but that's what that measurement is. Then you take the red piece, which is the box itself, and you're going to score that at one and a half inches on all sides. And again, I just flip it around because I have one little scoreboard and I have some cheat marks on there, but it's one and a half on all four sides. Then for the white piece, it's going to be one inch on all sides. Hard to see in this lighting. Sorry about that, but it's one inch. And that's going to be the top. And then you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut the inside pieces straight and then the outside piece you're going to cut in like a little mini triangle. So there's the straight piece and then that one is just a little offset so it has a little baby triangle. And you're going to do that on two of the sides and that's how you're going to fold your box. And you can see there's a little teeny bit of a gap and that's why you do it like a little triangle. And so you're going to fold those big pieces in and then the flaps will go on the inside and we're going to end up gluing those down. But that's as easy as it is to make a box. And if you make a box a different way, you can totally do that. But this is the way that I make the box. So we're going to put a little bit of our Barely Art Precision craft glue on there. It dries fairly fast, in my opinion. A lot of people say it doesn't, but I think it dries fast. Like I'm just holding it down there for a few seconds and it adhered already. So I like that about this glue. If I use some of my other glues, sometimes they take a little bit longer and I don't always have a lot of patience, right? We got things to do. There's my little box bottom. And then with the box top, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut two straight pieces. And in this case, I went all the way around and made all the straight pieces. And then I'm going in now and I'm cutting out the little mini triangles. And those are from the outside corners. And once you do this once, you'll know what I mean. You just want to have a little bit of a gap. It just makes it all fold in a little bit nicer. So those little smaller pieces are the ones that you cut the little gap out of. And I am going to emboss this top with some little snowflake design. Just gives it a little bit more interest to it. And there you can see those little beautiful snowflakes. And if you wanted to, you could put some ink on them. I'm also doing the same with the sentiment base. Then I stamped that with Merry Christmas. And then here with those three little pieces that we scored, we're going to make a flap and we're going to put some glue on it and attach the bottom to that flap, the bigger piece. And that will create our little like accordion and so these can actually lay flat if you want them to when you're not using them. And then here you can see when they stand up, they have a nice little stand. And so that cutout is that we're going to make for that box to be held is two inches from the top. And it's a two and a half inches over and a half an inch in. So that's two and a half inches over from the left and a half inch in from the right. And then you're just going to cut that little tab out and that is what's going to carry our little box. See how nicely that will work? Okay, now time to create our box top. And again, I cut pre-cut them and then emboss them just so nothing got crushed when I was cutting things up and things along those lines. But you could certainly just emboss it before you start cutting things out. It's totally up to you. And those little notches that we cut out were the little triangles. It makes this all just really easy to bend them together and glue them in place. All right, and then we have our little box. So we've got the top and the bottom. And then we'll put a little bow on it in a little bit, but that's how it all fits together. Super simple. Okay, now time to put our sentiment strip on. As you know, I embossed that red piece. 
So we'll put a little bit of glue on these and get these glued down. I want the sentiment to be right underneath the box. So you'll see I offset this a little bit for that reason. And I also wanted to have some of those bigger snowflakes being a little bit more prominent. So the Merry Christmas is right under or the opening for where that will house the box. And then we'll glue that on here. And then if I didn't put enough glue on there, I can always glue it again. But I want to glue this down and then we'll cut off the ends. And then I had these little poinsettia plant looking things. I have a little bit of foam on the back of them. And so I'm tearing that off because I don't need additional dimension there and it made it a little bit flatter so I could put my glue on there and really press it down but look how sparkly that is isn't that pretty I got these stickers from Hobby Lobby I'm normally a dollar tree or dollar store girl for my stickers but I found these at Hobby Lobby and if you guys know about Hobby Lobby they have always their latest holiday is usually 50% off so all these stickers were 50% off I think they were like originally $2.99 so $1.49 for those is not bad at all and that's US dollars so a little glue get that all down cut off our edges and then I'm putting a two from at the top just like I see these as gifts you might give your co-workers or a neighbor or something like that somebody that you just want to give a little something to. These would also be great as thank you gifts. If you didn't do a Christmas decor, it, these would be absolutely wonderful. I made a whole bunch of them, so I'm going to show you what they all look like. But at first, I want to put a bow on this. I'm using gold to match the gold inside of the poinsettia. And in this one, I decided not to do a bow. I did a bow on the previous one. Uh, I'm going to just tie this one in a knot, and then I'm going to curl those. And you could do whatever you want. If you're a great bow tire, which I am not a great bow tire, <laughs> you can put all bows on there or you can tie something to it or you can tape a little charm to it whatever you want to do this is where you make it all your own I'm really just wanting to show you the basics of this gift I was gifted this box or a box like it from my stamping up demonstrator Anita and her information is in the description box below she has really creative designs she said she did find this design off of the internet from another demonstrator so this is not um, something I came up with but something I reconstructed from Anita's gift to me and and I just think it's super fun. It's a great product you could use if you're selling things at craft shows. It's just a cute little gift idea. Who doesn't like to have a little gift idea? I'm putting little chocolates in them. I think that will just be super fun for someone. So let me show you my other ones. So here they all are. I put a snowflake on one. That's a wooden snowflake. I put a poinsettia plant on two of them. And then I have a little holly on that other one. And aren't they all just adorable? I really enjoyed this project. I hope you did too. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this content. And then I will see you in the next video. 